Our recent survey of more than 450 companies revealed that nearly half of organizations don't have a defined data governance policy. Of these organizations without a policy, 78% have plans to implement one. One of the key drivers for implementing data governance is regulatory compliance. 82% of the organizations responding to the survey indicated they faced external regulatory requirements. The good news is that there are four simple steps which can lead you to good data governance and help your organization meet regulatory requirements on data. Step one, develop a formal data governance policy. Your policy will outline the initiatives you have in place to ensure your organization's data is accessible and protected. If you already have a data governance policy in place, reevaluate the policy regularly to ensure it meets evolving business needs, regulatory changes, and new data types. Step two, ensure that you involve stakeholders from across the organization. Although IT departments typically champion the development of data governance programs, the impact is far-reaching and the decisions affect everyone from executives to end users. Don't overlook the importance of involving all parties in the decision-making process. Step three, most organizations must manage data for legal and regulatory requirements, so it is essential that your data governance policy clearly demonstrates how you fulfill those requirements. How long do you store patient records or electronic communications? Keep in mind that different types of data have different requirements for retention, which should be clearly defined in your policy. Step four, the last step, is to evaluate new technology solutions to support your data governance policies. The success of data governance rests with technologies that are efficient, reliable, and capable of ensuring that the policies are supported. In the end, a good data governance policy, along with the right technologies, can not only protect your business against legal and business continuity risks, but it can also reduce overall IT costs and improve corporate performance.